Today we're at Sydenham Skate Park. This park opened in February 2017. It was designed by Convic, but it was built by Concrete Skate Parks and cost $2 million. Now, if you guys watched my last video of the Leichhardt Skate Park review that just opened in Sydney, that park cost $2 million and that place sucks. Look at what $2 million will get you if you hire the right people to design and build your skate park. This place is amazing and it's in my top three favorite skate parks of Sydney. So this skate park is divided into two different lanes here. So that's the more of the street side with the flat bars and flat ledges. This has a bit more banks and transition and then there's a big bowl up the back. So I'll start the tour at the top where the bowl is and then work our way down to the bottom section here. So at the top of the park here, there's this sick bowl that has pool coping all the way around too. So this is the deeper end and then it goes up into the shallow end. On the other side of the bowl is the shaded section with the seats and then that's where the top of the skate park starts with the quarter pipes leading to the rails. So at the top of the skate park here, it is mirrored on either side. So there's smaller quarter pipes on either side of this bigger extension at the top, but this side has a square rail going down and then the hubber and that side has the round rail going down and then the hubber. So it's mirrored on either side, which is pretty cool. In between these two rails, you have this pretty gnarly wall here that people People can get up and stall on top of it. I don't know how because it's pretty sharp when you hit that part. Down from the rails and that gigantic wall is where the skate park starts to split left and right. So on this side we have a nice long flat bar that's round, a pole jam, a little hip and then there's a nice ledge there or manual pad but on the inside it goes over the garden which is really fun to skate. And if we come this way we have a rainbow ledge with a bank to bank gap, a ride on rail. If you're coming from this way you can skate this as a euro gap to manual pad here and then there's a cool ledge on top of the bank here. And at the bottom of the skate park here there's a spine and this is like your half pipe section, but this has an extension that you can grind over the top of the hip there. And there's a roll in on that side, cool little wally kind of feature here. And that leads all the way to this quarter pipe at the end. So it's probably very easy to see why this is one of my favorite skate parks with all the different assortments of rails and ledges that are here. Today though, I am especially excited to skate all of the little spots that that Cam Markin dude has built here. Recently, he's installed some more flat bars and cool little kink rails around the park, which you might've seen in the tour just then, but I'll show you them now. So at the top of the skate park here, these are the ones that he first kind of rub bricked and dug out to make skatable and these are so fun as well but he has recently installed cool little ride-on rails like this into the park there's another one off here a ride-on off the top of the ledge here to the footpath a ride-on kink rail in the middle of the skate park here which for how low that is this looks like the most sketchy one for me and then over here he's put a little kinked one which is square and this one looks really cool so you can ride onto it or you can just like ollie and grind the kink so i'm already so excited to skate this park because it's one of my favorites but it makes it so much more exciting for me having all those little ride-on rails to try and skate so I'm gonna try and get a trick on every obstacle here to show you guys the scale of everything and how the park flows. And then I wanna get into skating all of those ride-on rails that he's installed. That's pretty much one trick on everything here besides that quarter pipe at the back and besides the bowl up the top. But you guys know I suck at transition, so no one wants to see me skate those. So now I can get into skating all those little ride-on rails that were installed here, but some of them are pretty gnarly. So I'm gonna start at the top where the ride-on ledges are, get a feel for those and then try out the rails.
Nak kena apa? I got the 50, now I want to try a ride on front smith. <laughs> so I hope I just got the smith and the smith 180 on that ride on rail over there. Now there's only one left to go and it's the scariest one in the middle. All of those ride-on rails that were installed were so fun to skate. That last one was just so hard to figure out though. It was almost like a Mario double jump pole jam that you had to do. You did the first ride-on up to the first rail, then you had to do another pole jam up to the second one. It was so hard to figure out. I actually don't even know what I did different the one that I landed, but I was so surprised and I definitely took that one. So I'd say the positives of the park is like the new modern design that the skate park has. They've integrated pool coping into the bowl. They've got brickwork in between with the brick quarter pipes and the brick spine as well. All of that stuff goes a long way and adds to the vibe of the skate park and there's so many different assortments of ledges and rails there but at the same time there's a big bowl at the top there's a half pipe there's some banks and quarter pipes as well so it's pretty widely diverse it's not just a street plaza there's some transition there as well negatives i would have to say are the tight lanes going down either side because it's split into two lanes and the lanes are pretty short if there's too many people at the skate park you're just not going to get a proper turn and if you're running this way someone's going to be coming the other way and it can get pretty dangerous but the biggest negative for me is that sydney airport is really close so there's planes flying over this skate park every five to ten minutes and it just blows your eardrums out every time if you're skating there too long you can definitely get a headache from all the overhead planes flying by plus it's next to a main road so there's lots of trucks and traffic going past too so it's a really loud skate park there's a water bubbler at the top of the park here where the shaded area is there's lots of rubbish bins around the park too this park has lights and it's known to stay on longer than any other park in sydney so i've been skating other parks around the area and the lights have turned off and then we've gone to sydney skate park because we know the lights are on so late so it's a massive positive for these guys having the lights on so late there is parking here but it is pretty pretty tight and it's hard to get into if you've got like a big van or a big ute or truck or something and there isn't that many spots here so sometimes you have to park out on the road there and the toilet block is down across the road there too this skate park is really close to Sydney station so if you guys don't have a car the public transport to this park is pretty easy to get to as well so this park really is one of my favorite skate parks it's in my top three of all of the Sydney skate parks and the addition to all the ride on rails and everything that's around the park that can put in it just really makes it such a fun park so this is what two million dollars gets you if you hire the right people to design and build your skate park but Check out this video here to see how $2 million can be wasted if you hire the wrong people to design and build your skate park. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.